ready. So okay. I'll bring your vaccine card up to you. Okay. If I can have you guys pull straight forward beside of that gold truck. Okay. Yep. You do have to hang out for 15 minutes. Okay. 20 after 11 right now. Okay. So 25 minutes to 12. You'll be good to go. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You're hey, congratulations. Yeah, serious. You're the you're the first uh, yeah. the first of the four of us. Yeah. Oh man. I gotta admit, it feels mm -hmm. it feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. it really does. I'm super, I'm super ready for all of this to be over. And I am very excited that it's, it, there's starting to be an end in sight. Well, me too. By the way, hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. If you couldn't tell, today was kind of a big deal because my dad got the vaccine. Very, very excited. Um, the, uh, the appointments are still uh, kind of limited. Um, so we were able to to get him one, which we're excited about. My mom uh, has been actually working a lot, so she hasn't uh, been able to get an appointment yet, um, but we're hopeful that that'll probably come within maybe the next two weeks, probably the next two weeks, because they're constantly like replenishing the, the supply. Just really excited. I, I, honestly, when, whenever, we, um, whenever we made the appointment, and you know, it was, Made the appointment, scheduled and everything. I, I got very emotional uh, because it's it's been a long year. It's been a long year. Um, I love my parents. I miss my parents. I miss being able to you know do things and hang out. And I'm looking forward to some level of normalcy returning. And uh, even if that normalcy is just we can you know go over there and have dinner, and they can go over here, and then I, I won't have to worry about anything. That's what I'm interested in, and uh, gosh darn it, we are close. And uh, you know, my dad, my dad got vaccinated, and also he uh, he got the uh, Johnson and Johnson vaccine, so it's just one, it's just one dose, so he doesn't have to worry about getting a second dose. And uh, you know, in two to three weeks, he should be about as immunized as, as you can get for for this thing. Um, I talked to him since because it's been a few hours, and he said the biggest thing is he's really tired. <laughs> he said he's really tired. He's a bit of a headache. And he's just kind of been resting today. And I was like, it's probably a good plan. So otherwise, he's doing pretty good. The other nice thing about today is that it's just a really beautiful day. Um, whenever I get up in the mornings, I start by looking at the weather just to see what it's going to be for the day. And basically, all day, the entire day, uh, it has been 70 degrees. Like, it, it became 70 degrees early on and then just stuck at 70 degrees and it's going to be 70 until like 6 or 7 p.m. and only then will it start to fall to the high 60s. So um, I'm not exactly sure when, but at some point today we, we might go for a little walk because if we don't, Mal, we're really, we're really just missing out. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Not to mention, um, you know, at some point soon we're going to have the opposite problem where it's going to be so ungodly hot here that if you want to do a walk, you have to do it super, super early or, you know, super, super late. Then eventually it becomes like <laughs> night and you can only walk at night. And then eventually it's too hot to walk even when it's pitch black outside. And um, that's not my favorite time of year. Little update, we did go for that walk. I ended up uh, not not filming anything. Matt was actually, I was on the phone for almost the entire walk. But it was fine, just catching it's up with, with family. 25 minute walk. It was a long walk. We did find a little turtle though. Um, there's wildlife all over. Um, ag we, well, we first found a turtle, a little baby turtle, and it was you know, passed on. And that was sad, but then 10 minutes later we found a little turtle in a completely different part of the neighborhood and he was fine but he's in the middle of the road so i was like mm, no no buddy so i picked him up and put him in the grass and i was like you'll fare better over here so that was that was cute then i came then i did i carefully didn't touch anything and came home and washed my hands anyway now we're having our mid-afternoon cake 
And I'm not going to show my piece. I'm just going to show Mal's piece because that looks more like a normal sized piece of cake. So you don't get, no, don't you, don't you even show them how much. Listen, we're trying to finish up the cake. This is really my mom's fault because she got like an so eight much. Inch cake. It was a big cake. Yeah, that's not in frame. And it, no, <laughs> no, they can't know how much cake it, it's a lot, it's a lot of cake. It's a lot of cake. Um, but again, uh, my mom bought a gigantic cake, which is not necessary. I know. So we're, we're having afternoon cake. I'm having some coffee too, just to, you know, so just something between lunch and dinner to get us by. <laughs> just a massive amount of sugar. So I've spent most of my evening upstairs working on things and uh, Mallory has been, well, I don't want to spoil anything related to her painting, but she's been waiting for something to dry for a bit. Um, so today she was doing all sorts of other things around the house. And while I was upstairs, she was going going to town on the kitchen. A lot of the stuff is, is cleaned up, which is wonderful. Um, the days pass by so quickly that it's like, I feel like we'll, we'll get things cleaned up and then all of a sudden it's messed up again. And I'm like, but we just did this. And Mal's like, right. it's, I was like, it's been four days. And I'm like, it has? And she's like, yeah, but that's just how time seems to be moving. Um, anyway, I lost track of time and uh, I came downstairs and I was like, we should probably eat dinner because it's getting late. So even though we just had a pizza, uh, yet was it yesterday? Yeah. That was a frozen pizza. So we're gonna make one, you know, with uh, with crust and, and sauce and all of that ourselves because it turns out a little bit better. We also got some uh, tomatoes, pepperoni, I'm gonna do artichoke hearts. We also made uh, that bacon the other day for um, the breakfast burrito, so that's gonna go on there. It's really good. You may have also, out of the corner of your eye, caught an image of this. Caught an image. Caught an, <laughs> they know what I mean. Mallory also made a cake. Also made a cake. Because this week was also um, Michael's birthday. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see him tomorrow for uh, driveway time. So Mal made a strawberry cake for his that birthday. At his request. Yeah, at his request. Um, so now you realize just how much sugar that we've consumed because my mom made the squash cake, then bought a normal cake, then Austin brought us donuts, and now there's another cake. The difference is we get to pawn most of that off on our friends, so we will not have leftover cake. We actually should do it where we don't have leftover cake. That was my plan, was to split it into however many people show up. Man, I mean, if there's only six of us, everyone's piece is going to be comically large. I thought about making two rounds in uh, doing a layered cake. Mm. So they'd just be taller, but I didn't know if I had enough frosting. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. So tomorrow we're going to serve cake and it's going to be gigantic. And everyone's going to be like, what? And we're gonna be like, enjoy for a while because there's a lot of cake. Good job. Thank you. It's a good looking pizza. It's got a bunch of... Uh, Got a bunch of good stuff on it. Um, we've been continuing to get those. Uh, it's a, it's a pack at Costco. It comes with the crust and the sauce. It's not my favorite sauce in the world, but with a little Italian seasoning, a little garlic powder, and maybe a few red pepper flakes, it's more than serviceable. It's actually it's actually quite good. And just putting fresh toppings on a pizza really uh, elevates it above like the frozen pizza experience. Although certainly that's more convenient than this. Anyway, it's been a good day. We're eating dinner a little bit later than I expected, but it's been a good day. Um, I'm, I'm happy to report that, I think this is the second day in a row, I've noticed a marked improvement in how my arm feels. So I'm happy about that because it does seem maybe finally, knock on wood, that I'm actually getting better, so that's that's good. And then of course the big highlight for today and maybe this whole week for me was my dad getting the vaccine. Um, I have been, I've been worried about him. I, I, my dad is high risk uh, and I've been worried about him for a year. High risk for multiple reasons. Yeah. And you know, just to, to be able to, to help also, you know, to be able to take him to get the vaccine and, and feel like I was a part of that was really meaningful too. So um, yeah, it it was a good day. It was a really good day. All right, we gotta eat this pizza and, on, and honestly go to bed because it's, it's really late. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?
It was a crunch. Is this a good pizza? Is it got a good flavor? Okay, good.